a lake next to a landfill, a winery next to a sewage plant, a music festival next to a library. These are not very good ideas, and that is why we have zoning bylaws, the regulations for what you can build where. How does it work? Well, check out this map of the Couch and Valley. All the land and properties here have been categorized into zones. There are residential zones, commercial zones, agricultural zones, industrial zones, and many, many others. Together, all these zones create a zoning bylaw, the regulations for what you can develop inside each zone. They include regulations around what land uses are allowed, how tall buildings can be, the density of development, and where buildings can be located. Zoning exists to ensure that each property is built to be compatible with its surroundings and to help areas function better as a community. For example, our residential zoning bylaws make sure that we have nice places to live in the Cowgen Valley. By regulating what uses are allowed, we can make sure that noisy or 24-hour activities aren't taking place next to people's bedrooms. By regulating the amount of density each property has, we can make sure we don't overwhelm our roads with too much traffic. But on the flip side, allowing for more density helps us create more compact and walkable neighborhoods that ensures our region has enough housing for everyone. Ultimately, these regulations are intended to help us see the bigger picture, to create a community where land, buildings, and people don't exist in isolation, but coexist to add up to a much greater whole. And that sounds like a pretty good idea. The CVRD's zoning bylaws are guided by a larger vision and policy document called the Official Community Plan. To learn more about it, check out this other video we made.